Hey everyone, this is Kalen here, saying that I got a big announcement regarding the future of this blog. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Welcome to the weekly update. I'm your host, Kalind, and you're wondering what the announcement is about. Well, the announcement is that the name of the blog is going to be phased out. You heard of the name NYCKNP? Well, it's phasing out because I changed the name of my website to Wrestling with Green Pinstripes. Now, you're wondering where the name came from? Well, wrestling is pro wrestling. Green, Jets. Pinstripes, Yankees what I'm wearing right now, and, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that, I had to clear my throat, um, the reason why I have changed the name, because I started a Facebook page, yes, I'm uh, now officially on Facebook, well, actually, I've been on Facebook uh, for a while, but there is a page for this now, and when I registered the name NYCKNP blog, I tried to put it in all caps NYCKNP, but Facebook would not allow that, so they put the capital N, the rest of it lowercase, and it looked awkward, so I was like, hmm, I need to change the name, so I decided to go with uh, Wrestling with Green Pinstripes, and I mean, the old name will still be around for a while, but eventually it's going to be phased out. When it does, I'll let you know, so I mean, like, the blog name... I mean, like, it will still be called uh, NYCKNP Blog, but eventually it's going to have a new name for now. All right, then, that's uh, that's what I have to tell the announcement about, and uh, let's uh, get to some other things. All right, as you may know, that spring training is officially over, and baseball starts tonight for the people down in Texas, where the Houston Astros will host the Texas Rangers, but for everyone else, it's tomorrow. And that means uh, in New York City area, both the Yankees and the Mets will open at home in a rare combination, because since if the one team is in town, the other team would be away, and it usually doesn't happen. So it's rare that both teams are going to be opening at home, and uh, I couldn't find uh, someone like, uh, that I know personally that would like to share their thoughts on the Mets, but I have, uh, found a video on YouTube uh, about, like, uh, someone who shared, uh, his thoughts about the Mets season. I, I mean, his username is Quartzside Tweets, so if you click on this picture on the screen, uh, it will, like, uh, there's a link, uh, embedded to it, so if you click that annotation, you'll hear his thoughts, so I'll have to do my best as a Yankees fan trying to share the thoughts about the state of the Mets, as well as the Yankees. So, here goes. Alright, so with the Yankees, it the last season was something to forget. Because after the ALDS, uh, Derek Jeter got injured, and all of a sudden, the team decided to self-destruct. And the, the nail in the coffin was uh, on uh, October 18th of 2012, which... Happened to be my birthday, so thanks, Yankees. You lost uh, on my birthday. But, I mean, like, uh, as they say, the best teams go to the playoffs, and the hottest team wins the World Series. So, the Yankees cooled off at the wrong time, and uh, they got a lot of backlash from it. And it was a long off season because they lost a lot of players to free agency. They lost uh, Nick Swisher to the Cleveland Indians, Raul Ibanez to the Seattle Mariners, uh, Russell Martin to the P Pittsburgh Pirates, and a few others. I have a list uh, uh, coming up. Uh, it will be, and also like a, I have a Wikipedia page in the description below. So, 
And uh, but I mean, they they added a few players such as uh, Travis Hafner, Vernon Wells. They acquired during spring training. Lyle Overbay they acquired I think last week or two weeks ago, and they acquired uh, someone a big name that <laughs> Yankee fans know really well. It's Kevin Euclidus. Well, I mean, like it, it was a surprise because uh, Kevin Euclidus has been with the Red Sox uh, for a really long time, and for a long time I did not like him because he was with Boston and <laughs> he always uh, gave the Yankees a hard time. But now he's with the Yankees, so hopefully he can help us out. Well, help them out. I, I can't say us. I'm a spectator. And I don't own the team or nor work in the front office. So hopefully the Yankees uh, do well despite all the injuries because I mean like half their roster is in the, is in the DL. I mean Derek Jeter is not going to make his debut until like probably early in the season because he was placed on the DL for like a probably precautionary reasons. So Mark Teixeira is currently rehabbing from his stint in the D in the DL. A Rod is not going to make his debut. I don't know when. Uh, Curtis Granderson is. Uh, out for a while. He won't be back until May, and um, that's a lot. That's like half your starting lineup is like out for injuries. So, I mean, like, uh, what Joe Girardi should do is like a uh, plug and play. Whoever steps up uh, will will do the best, and whoever did not will have to stay on the bench. That's all I could say. All right, and as a Yankees fan, looking at the Mets, well. <sighs> I don't know. As a Yankees fan, I could say that the Mets had a somewhat of a better offseason, despite the fact that they traded R.A. Dickey to the Blue Jays. And, uh, well, I meant, like, they didn't have any a lot of publicity on them, so that's a fact. Until recently, Johan Santana was uh, placed on the DL, and he's going to be needing surgery, and it's rumored that it's going to be career-ending, so... I do feel bad for the Mets fans. I'm I'm a Yankees fan, but I really don't hate the Mets, so it, it's really hard to. And plus, uh, I had some family members that when they first came to America from India, they rooted for the Mets because at the time it was the 80s and the 1986 World Series. If you guys were old enough to remember, the Mets defeated the Red Sox to win the World Series. All right, well, that's all I could say about baseball for now. All I could say is let's hope for the best, prepare for the worst, and everybody starts with a clean slate tomorrow, 0-0, zero, zero, and it's all up to them to decide who's going to be going to October baseball. All right, so let's uh, preview some upcoming events uh, this week, shall we? Let's do it. That's all I have to say for now, and uh, you could uh, you can now like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, visit my website, and uh, subscribe to me on YouTube and check out my previous videos. And of course, uh, tune in tomorrow afternoon if you get time to watch uh, the Yankees uh, season opener as they play against the Boston Red Sox. And for Mets fans, you could check it out on SNY to uh, watch uh, their home opener against, uh, I believe it's the San Diego Padres, and uh, the Yankees are on yes, and I believe that they're also being shown on ESPN, but I, my feeling is it, it's going to be blacked out for us. So, And of course, uh, tomorrow night is uh, the Raw before WrestleMania, and that is a big one. So tune in for that. It's going to be loaded, and it's a, it's a super show, I could say that. All right, this is Colin here saying, see you next time. Thanks, everyone.